me going physically doing something in the morning, my day goes so much better. Oh, hell yeah, it does, like, dude. I crush 10 times more things than I would do if I just try to roll into a regular day. Yeah, you're productive. Yeah. You're rolling, dude. It, one of the biggest things, dude, I want to get into is I, I think there was a, a big component of GLP-1s in my treatment that were very, very successful. But I also want to touch on that because a lot of people think, okay, I'm just going to take these GLP-1s, these Ozempics, the Terzepatides, whatever it is. And that's it. What can happen to somebody if they just take it and they don't work out, they don't eat well? Yeah. What are some of the dangers? So I'll tell you, man, with GLP-1s, um, it's crazy where that world's gone. You know, a big farmer brought that to the market. It was, you know, semaglutide mm -hmm. or Zempic or Wagovi was, you know, brought originally for type 2 diabetes. There's GLP-1s have been around forever, mm -hmm. right? You have way back in 2014, 15, liraglutide, dulaglutide. There you could go back to even further before that. They just not not any one GLP had the results that Ozempic did. And what happened, so Ozempic, you know, came to the market, they were going through their 60 some week trial and, you know, people lost a crap ton of weight. I mean, it was crazy amounts. So like, they're looking at this, like, holy cow, like, you know, what's going on here? Why is this one producing? Well, GLP one slow down gastric emptying. So you, you know, you end up kind of food doesn't move through your stomach as quick. So it does control your appetite. Um, it occupies the GLP-1 receptors in the brain. And there's a lot of studies even for like the addictive portion of your brain, what GLP-1s can do. And they saw quite a bit of that with semaglutide, which is Ozempic or Wagovi. Wagovi is just class for weight loss. And that's kind of what, how they, after they mm -hmm. saw, we were using it for diabetes, but now there's a market for weight loss. They just re they renamed it, it right? Um, but, but that GLP one had such a pronounced effect on like gastric emptying, gastric slowdown. People were not feeling as hungry. They were satiated early in a meal. And so a lot of those people lost a lot of weight, but the problem, and I always say with the GLP ones of poisons in the portion, because a lot of people have taken diabetic dosing and lost a crap ton of weight, but all they did different, it was basically they were on a starvation diet. Mm -hmm. It got them to the point where they didn't think about food. They didn't eat. It just enabled them to starve. And, you know, uh, hence the Ozempic face and the yeah. Ozempic butt because it's muscle loss. It's not from that particular thing, but it allowed them to starve. And that starvation created those problems. And, you know, unfortunately I'm having to clean it up now over the years because, you know, they've progressed from semaglutide to terzepatide, which is partially GLP-1 with the gastro inhibitory peptide, just helps the pancreas better. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have, you know, soon to be out on the market stage two right now is reditrutide. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people keep classing that as like, it's going to be better. I I'm actually going to do a breakdown video to show like, it's not that it's better. There's, each one has their own little properties and it depends on the person and how you apply it. Unfortunately, the world's just been taking diabetic dose, one shot a week, scale it, double it after a month. And what, what's happened is people have starved a lot of weight off mm. and they're metabolically damaged. No different if they did it without a GLP, it just made it a lot easier for them to do that. Yeah. And so they're malnourished. They lost a lot of muscle tissue, the metabolism's in the dirt. Now what happens when they stop taking it? What happens when they start eating food? The, and I'm already seeing it, like people are rebounding and gaining a lot of weight because they didn't focus on nutrition. Mm. They didn't have the foundation set right. Nor even if they did, for the way they were dosed, they probably wouldn't have stuck. They would have just not ate. And so the poison's definitely in the portion with that. I think they're amazing. So they are peptides. They're, you know, peptides are chains of aminos mm -hmm. or sequence of aminos that initiate response in the body to happen that sometimes don't happen as we age medical condition, um, lifestyle. And so with a lot of those, you know, those peptides, they, that helps the pancreas, it helps carbohydrate metabolism because it was meant for diabetes mm -hmm. It fixes mm -hmm. A1C mm -hmm. and insulin resistance. Um, but by taking too much, a lot of people in the world have been able to just starve. Yeah. Yeah. Done right. You know, and I, I'd like to think we probably have applied it the best way over the years. I mean, I used to use dulaglutide and liraglutide wasn't nowhere near close to, you know, semaglutide or terzepatide, but you know, it does quiet the food noise drastically. Um, definitely kind of kills the addiction portion of the brain. So like people that are having like addictions to certain things outside of just food get better, but it's allowed me to give people the dietary discipline to, to a plan. And ultimately the vehicle is going to be the food. It's forever going to be the food. If mm -hmm. you think it's anything else, like you're, you're going to be in a bad position, 
but it's allowed me to get people to actually adhere to a plan. And, and so we adjust it very specific to the person, but the poison is in the portion with that stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think that's why the world gravitated to it. Cause I, I could take a shot and I'm not going to eat. I'm not hungry. And I stopped doing all the stuff that was causing me to be overweight, but uh, you know, taking too much or done wrong without the proper vehicle, you'll see some results. You're going to feel better, but you're going to probably have some issues. You know, I think, yeah. and I don't, I know you were asking like about the people just to go to that, like you should be screened. You should make sure you don't have, there's certain things medically that you should be checked up. Now I'm seeing like, you know, tanning salon selling semaglutide and it's all over the internet, it's wild, you know, bro. so it just be cautious. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest thing with that is the application has to be done a certain way. And if done right, I'm going to say this and I hate medication. It's probably one of the most remarkable things for me to allow someone to stick to a plan. I've used over the years, low dose phenamine and it would quiet the food noise mm -hmm. and it would actually control their appetite. But this one's working so differently and you're fixing a lot of things like insulin resistance, you know, the, you know, metabolic, how, how things are processed, lipid metabolism. Um, you know, it, it's allowed me to do things much, much faster and and hopefully get people to that end goal and then teach them how to reverse out of that the right way